Hey, and welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to be showing you how to use the circularize component tool. With this tool, you can turn selected vertices, edges, or faces into perfect circles. This year, I aim to learn some new Maya tools, and it's been a really long time since I looked through the documentation, and I hope to find some extra tricks I can use day to day. To start with, let's go ahead and select the vertices, edges, or faces you want to circularize. I'm going to choose faces. And once you've made your selection, we can then go to Edit Mesh Circularize or hold Shift plus the right mouse button and go down to Circularize Components. And then you will see that these selected components are then turned into circles for us. And there's a bunch of settings to play around with, so let's get into them. First, we have Normal Offset, which basically just allows us to adjust how far these selected components get moved along their normal axis which can be helpful if you need to bring the selection out a little after the circularize. Next, we have radial offset, which adjusts the size of the circle. Normal orientation basically allows us to change which of the averaged out component orientations is used to position our circles. It can either be face or edge loops. And you're gonna have to make a decision based on what looks best on your mesh at the time. Just gonna set mine back to this. Next, we have twist. Sometimes we get a weird rotation applied and this setting allows us to rotate the circles, so can help to resolve that. Relax interior can help relax the interior verts from within the circle and help them to be more evenly spaced out if we need them to be. Next, we have alignment, which determines how the resulting circle will be orientated relative to the original mesh. Having this set to automatic is going to position our circles rotated based on an average. See how it's an average of these two angles here. Setting this to surface, however, will make our circles conform to the original shape. Both are useful for different results, obviously. Evenly distributed basically just specifies whether or not our circularized vertices are evenly spaced along the circle circumference. Almost there. Add divisions adds additional vertices at the circle's edge, which results in obviously a smoother circle. But if we do add divisions, we're going to get n-gons. Turning on support and edges resolves this by converting everything into tries. By default, this is set to off, but we can choose to fix interior n-gons, exterior n-gons, or both if we so wanted. The most common settings you're going to most likely change are the normal and radial offsets along with the twist. But it's helpful to know them all to get an idea of the tool's full potential. If you would like to follow along, the Maya files are available through the VFX for your membership on my Gumroad. Joining the membership not only gives you access to some cool perks, but it also helps the channel out too. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, hit the like and subscribe buttons. Come chat with me on the Discord and I'll see you in the next video.